I'm Travis Burnett, Practical Farm Researcher Grumps with Bex Hybrids. Welcome to another PFR report. With me today is John Miller with Nitrogen Sealing Systems. So today we're actually looking at a product that we've been testing for four years now within PFR, and that's the nitrogen sealers. So nitrogen sealing systems is the maker of the nitrogen sealers that you've seen us test the last four years. It's been a product that has been very consistent for us those last four years. So John, if you don't mind, could you kind of take us through what the nitrogen sealers are, what they do, how they work? things of that nature. Sure. The sealing systems are specific for each manufacturer, so if you're interested in a particular sealer, I need to know what it's going to fit on, how old it is, how many rows, of course, whether it's a knife or an injector. What I want to do, two things. I want to cover up the application area and close the slot, and also I want to be able to control the, the splice of the soil. I want the soil to be contained within my sealers so it will let you run two, three, four mile an hour faster than you conventionally run without a sealer. Go over here and look at an injector sealer system. You'll find that my, my coulters are up front all around that injector. They're not back here behind it trying to, trying to do something that's already happened, trying to correct the problem. We're gonna be right here where we collect the splice and splatter and roll it with the soil and cover up that product. So earlier I mentioned, uh, you know, we have some multi-location multi-year data. In fact, it's four years across our geography here where we've been testing the sealers. Sure. And uh, we're showing roughly a 4.7 bushel advantage to using this sealer over traditional side dress UAN application. And, you know, agronomically it makes a lot of sense, right? So what, what uh, you know, what conditions are favorable for nitrogen loss, particularly with volatilization, since we're using a urea-based product like UAN, uh, you know, that's warm, uh, moist soils. So if you look at our data in 2015, that, that's the exact conditions we're, we're dealing with across most of our geography mm -hmm. during side dress applications. And in that year in particular, the, the return was huge. What's new with uh, nitrogen sealing systems? Is there a new product that's coming out? Can you tell us some more about this product and where, where you're gonna be you know, five years from now? Beck was able to perform some testing that I found very interesting. It was, it was a placement study where your 28% 15 inches dead center in the middle of a 30 inch row, and then you move the application over seven and a half inches closer. And on multiple replicated tests, that proved out, I think it was a, a 4.3 bushel increase. Mm -hmm. And 4.3 bushel for just positioning is a huge amount of money. So that led me to develop a new product. That's where we're going with this. This is a, a brand new product it's called In Place. And it's, it's a surface sealing system where we are taking our nitrogen and bringing nitrogen to the soil right ahead of a coulter that is angled from inside to out. And the reason we're doing this is we want to put the nitrogen on the soil and then roll it in with the soil so we safeguard it as we incorporate it and then we want to deliver that soil right over next to or into the root zone of that growing plant. This is a every row unit. This is an every other row unit because we can put all the nitrogen that you need on one side adjacent to this corn row and then come over and do it to the next one parallel with it but then we skip two more and repeat that again. So the cost of this unit basically a 12 a 13 row or a 12 row applicator, you're going to be using six of these versus 11 of these. So fortunately, PFR is actually going to have a handful of these to test for 2017. So we're going to look at these uh, as a, you know, the next level on how to manage our nitrogen better. You know, thanks for watching and look for the results in 2017's PFR book.